Hello, thank you for joining me. We're in Birmingham today. We're at Birmingham Snow Hill Station. Now what we've come here to have a look at is a modern bit of, not disused railway, but disused tramway. So if you look over here, well firstly, on this side is the main railway line. I know it's a bit windy out here, so which goes that way towards Kidderminster. That way underneath the car park and the city, down to London, Marylebone. And here, you'll notice the catenary, that's of the Midland Metro. Now the Midland Metro opened along the original Great Western Main Line up to Wolverhampton in 1999. But when it first started running, it ran from Snow Hill out of this platform here. Now you can just see there's some track still in situ. But when they extended it to New Street, aka Grand Central, the track then went up here. There's a new stop there, which was originally called Snow Hill, but it caused too much confusion. So it's now called St Chad's, after the beautiful cathedral over there by Pugin. That's the Catholic cathedral in Birmingham. There is another cathedral up. If you go out of the station and turn right, you'll find the Anglican cathedral. So both of those are really worth visiting. So that is the current Snow... Well, it's not Snow Hill. It's now called St Chad's. As I said, but if you want to catch a train heading in that direction, they tend to say go out there, right, a tram rather, and up to Ball Street. Ball Street is now the official interchange for um, Birmingham Snow Hill. Although what you could do, you could, if the train wasn't terminating, you could stay on it to Jewelry Quarter or the Hawthorns and catch the tram there, heading north. What they could do, though, um, I think the plan is eventually for this to become another ne network rail platform. But in the meantime, you know, they could put a set of ticket barriers just down there and people could access and they could just jump straight on the tram. It might be a quicker and easier interchange and would relieve congestion. So if you want to get to that tram stop, you have to go out these doors here, which I don't think are open all the time. Are they open? Are they actually? Okay, yes, they are open today. I won't go down there now. You'd have to go down there and out to get to, um, there's a tram there number 36 to get if you wanted to jump on the tram heading north. It's a bit frustrating, you can almost have step free access across there, but you can't. I appreciate once this becomes a national rail platform. There's a West Midlands railway train just pulled in a class 172, the, the type of the door on the front. I'm shouting now because as you can see it's getting really, really windy. There's a tram over there, we're going to go indoors in a minute so it shouldn't be too bad but I want to show you the disused Midland Metro platforms. So there's the um, class 172. It's better now. Now we're underneath the car park. I must say it's not the most attractive of railway stations but at least it um, you know it's not windy and that and you are in the dry. So the tram line, old tram line, new tram line, is behind that fence over there. It's still a bit windy in here. You know what be quite funny is if they, um, what they could do is get a, Birmingham, a preserved Birmingham tram, like say one of the original Alessandro Bero trams, and just run it up and down here, have a little heritage tramway, and they could have like an old tram, probably have to be single decker, and um, there's two platforms up there, they could take it in turns of giving people ride so wouldn't you know wouldn't that be fun I don't suppose it ever happened but you know it'd be quite cool wouldn't it so we're now to the various buildings here which have waiting rooms and toilets um, and then the three platforms of Snow Hill are just over there so when we come to here you can now see the point work and up there is the disused platforms now this station We've done barrierless tube stations and we've explored half barriered stations in stations that have ticket barriers but you could get onto without passing through a ticket barrier. This one used to fall into that category because what used to happen here, there used to be, I think it was, um, must have been, see what it now says, no access to Midland Metro. You used to walk off the end of the platform and onto the platform that way. So if you did that, you could access the station without passing through a ticket barrier. Because if you look, it's good, this way be up the street better. If you look up at the old, whether the cameras can pick it out, but there's a derelict escalator at the end of the platform, which took you up onto the street. So that always was the end. 
it became impractical for when they wanted to extend it to New Street. So that's why the trams now run along up there and onto the streets. So that if we have a look on this map, it used to end here. So it now goes up here and down there to Ball Street. That is the official interchange. It was actually the um, terminus for a while until they extended to uh, Grand Central. And then the plan is they're now working on an extension up to five ways. I think it will originally go to Centenary Square. I can hear a tram now. It will go to Centenary Square and then it will follow on up to five ways. I don't know if we're going to see that tram, but I can hear it. So, um, from Birmingham Snow Hill, thank you very much for watching. I have to go now. I can see this train pulling in here. Another class 172. This is my train. So, from the abandoned tram line at Birmingham Snow Hill. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.